Okay, I caught out two from my tank. See if we can see the difference. So first from above, you can see one is much bigger than the other. The larger one is also a little lighter in color. So the one, the larger one, you'll notice that that black, that brown bar under the dorsal fin on the front edge slants backwards and on the back edge comes either straight down or slightly backwards. And if you look at the little one behind him, that brown bar on the front edge comes down straight down, kind of, and on the back edge comes forward. The other thing you'll notice is the dark one, so it's got that sort of wood grain pattern to the light areas. The other one is mostly just clear or just solid colored with little dots. And the darker one also has, let's go underneath, the darker one has pigmentation in its paired fins on the side, whereas the other one is completely pale on those posterior pelvic fins. One more look. Last comment I'll notice, as so you look at the curve on the dorsal fin, with the big guy, it doesn't really line up well with the brown and the next band in back, but with the little guy, it comes down right, it almost blends into that slanting bar at the top of the body. It doesn't do that on the big guy. Right, here's one last look at the two different patterns. It's easy to imagine, given their differences in size, color, and appearance, they might be two species, but I'm just not sure yet. There's so much variation too, it's hard to account. Okay, so I went in and I captured out, well, I should have 18 bumblebees. I captured all of them, and sadly, I could only find 17. One was missing from the second purchase of 12 fish. Um, anyway, I divided the remaining 17 into three groups. One I'll call the big yellow fish, one I'll call the small wood grain fish, and the third is the uh, intermediates. Here are the big yellow fish. You can see um, the sort of the solid yellow color they have, or a little bit of what I might describe as bronzing. Um, they are mostly larger fish, but some are smaller. Um, they all have about the same overall color pattern. Um, the yellow body or maybe a little pinkish kind of um, sometimes a little bit of a darker pigmentation with white rims or pale rims between the yellow area and the brownish black um, so slight differences but overall very similar to each other um, and now let's look at the sort of fat um, fish these are there's only four I put in here that I thought were really um, wood grained and three of them are thick, which was kind of surprised me. Uh, two particularly thick, which makes me wonder if these are all females or do I have a males and females of one species here? And then the other ones, the large fish, I just don't see the um, females in yet. But you can see really clearly the wood grain pattern. They're all about the same size. Um, dark fish, really pretty. I like this color, really nice. It's, it's a nice color combination, more interesting than the sort of solid yellowish color I see on the others. Um, but boy, are those females big. I don't understand why I don't have any big fish, big fat females in the yellow group. I'm still trying to figure that part out. Uh, and last, we're going to look at a couple of fish that I thought were sort of intermediate in pattern. Um, they mostly look like the yellow fish, but they're just a little bit darker in one way or another. But at this point, I'm also looking a lot at the tail shape. So these, some of them had more of a lobular tail and some had more of a pointed bilobed tail. So I couldn't quite decide where to place them. Overall, that brown bar under the dorsal fin fits in really nicely with the yellowfish. Even this one fish here that looks kind of pigmented um, has the brown bar that looks like the yellowfish. It's got a tail shape kind of like the yellowfish. So 
I'm not quite sure what to do with these. For now, I'm going to put them in with the yellow fish rather than in with the brown fish. Um, but I don't know. They could kind of go either way in some in some ways. I'm just not sure. Um, so those are my 17 fish. I sure wish I hadn't um, lost that one. I wonder what it looks like. Um, I searched the tank that it came from. Could not find any bones or remains. I looked on the floor. Nothing on the floor. I looked inside the sponge filters in case it crawled in. I could not find anything there. I looked in the HOB. I have an Aquion HOB Quiet Flow. And I looked inside there, removed the filter cartridge, could not see anything there. No sign of the missing fish. I have no idea what happened to it. It really kind of surprised me because otherwise they've been doing really well. Anyway, so those are the 17 fish. This is um, late November when I did this analysis. Once again, I've picked out my 17 bumblebees into the categories of yellow, solid color, uh, base color, wood grains, and then over there, these sort of intermediates, but I think they fit in the yellow bodied solid color fish. Here we go. First, here's the solid color fish. These are mostly the largest fish, but there's some small ones in the group. The biggest is over 65, almost 70 millimeters standard length. Um, they have a base color that's anywhere from a, a, a very yellowy, almost a little orange mustard color to something that's kind of pink, like this one right here, and the one behind it. And also some have a little darker color. You can see the one back has like a dark pigmentation to it, but still keeps sort of an overall solid color. It's a, almost a little bit like it's bronzed a little bit. All of these fish, I've noticed they filled in, or nearly all of them, have filled in their tail fin color. So even though this one's a little on the light, all of them have almost a solid line or three-shaped uh, band on the tail. I have also noticed the tail's become a little more variable as it's grown in, so I don't think I can consistently rely upon that as a trait. Some of them are more pointy than others. Some are a little more lobular than others. This one fish here still has that deformed tail that's just straight on the edge. So these are the largest fish again. And if you look at them, none of them are particularly fat from above. Some are thicker. That one's kind of thick right there. That's one of my largest. Um, a little bit girthy. And if you look from underneath, you can see what, what appear to be kind of two rolls. Let's see if I can get that. No, I can't really see it there. Um, to the body that makes it look almost like they have um, their ovaries pressed up against the scut, and they're not going to show me now. Um, there, you can see it on this one here, sort of two lumps that might be ovaries. But when you go and look at the wood grain fish, of which I have only five that are really wood grained, and even three are very wood grained. There, of these five, and see that one there, the smaller one, looks more mottled than wood grain, but I'll put it in with the wood grain. Look how fat three of these are. Holy Toledo, three are huge. And these are all small, about 45 to 50 millimeters standard length. These are huge though. And some of them have a more pointy tail, but some have a little more rounded tail, so I'm just thinking the tail is not a reliable trait. But you can see them there. That one there was pretty pale, almost belongs in with the pale body, but he's really small. So I don't know what to do with that one. Not because he's small, but because he is darker. It's like if you put him, I guess I could put him in my mixed batch, but here's the mixed batch right here. Here's one. You can see they're solid colored, but they have pigmentation to them, kind of like that one we were just looking at. And they look overall like the big yellow fish, but they're just, if you put them side by side, they're just darker than the big yellow fish. See if they'll come back. Here we go. They really do look like the big yellow fish, but they're darker when they're side by side. They don't want to stick around. They sit still when they're in large groups, but in a group of one or two, they won't. So I'm going to leave them in with the yellow fish, but they are darker. So I don't know. Maybe since all the really fat ones are in the wood grain, it might be that the wood graining is more of a sexual dimorphic trait, as some people have said, and it's the females that are dark and small 
Although I wouldn't expect the females to be so small, but maybe the males are larger so they can wrap around the females. Um, but again, I might, maybe I just lucked out and got mostly females in the wood grain group and these others are juvenile. This might be a juvenile of the yellow, I don't know. But anyway, there they are. That's my bumblebee cats. Come back. That's one of the darker ones, but still not really wood grained. Just darker. Had a big surprise when I dug the fish out. For fun, I looked back in the filter again, and there was the missing fish from back in November. So it's been in this aquarium filter, in this HOB, for at least a month. Um, but he's doing just fine, I think. I was able to, and I looked for him twice and never saw him before. Here he is. Even after being in the filter for over a month, he looks pretty good. So I'm so glad I didn't lose him. Okay, one more line of evidence that makes me think that these are all one species. All the fat ones are in the dark um, container, the short dark size. But as they sat in here today, look at this one. They really lightened up. So I'm wondering if it's the color is just more of a comfort level or something about the individuals.